Well, the time has finally come for me to finish this project of the DC conversion on this AC stick welder. Too cold to start a fire, I'm burning diesel, burning dinosaur bones. Well, it's been over a year ago that I installed a full wave bridge rectifier in this Lincoln AC stick welder so that I could run DC rods. I said that I was still going to do some more updates to it, some more upgrades to it. Now let's see what I got. Okay, I've got DENS connectors so that I can have one pair be DC, I can switch the polarity around. Then I'm going to have the other pair be the regular AC, so if I still want to run AC I can do that. Got the copper lugs for that. The other suggestion was, man, you got to put a heat sink on that bridge rectifier, okay? I've got a big old beefy heat sink here. I'm going to mount that on there, stick that right by the fan inside. And everyone else was saying you need to put a choke in there so that your DC is a little bit more pure DC as opposed to pulsed. Okay, well, I ordered this Torrid uh, ferrite core. Eh, I don't know that that's really big enough. Everybody else was saying you got to go bigger, so... This here is a microwave transformer that I cut apart, pulled the core out of. I'm going to use this as my choke. Weld that back together. Then I suggested that I throw this screwdriver away. Get a nut driver. Well, one up on that. And get up off the floor. Put that on a workbench. Okay. I'll just, uh, I'll just put that up on here then. Okay. Now, That'll be easy. Uh, let me just lift that up there. Okay, well, let's tear it down, see what we got. Maybe I'll even clean it out like was suggested.
stuffing. Why are you barefoot?
And that's that. But we should probably see if it works first. AC to AC and DC conversion with a choke with even an amp meter. Of course that amp meter, if it's correct, proves that this thing doesn't really put out the amp that this says up here. But it works. It actually welds pretty good. So the elephant in the room, I guess, kind of, is why would you even do this? Now you put all of this effort and money and time into this welder when you can just go buy a DC machine. Well, yep, you can. And if that's what you want, that's what I would recommend going and buying. I bought this with the money that I had at the time. I was like in college. And I bought it with the money that I had at the time because that's what I could afford. And it got me through for a long time. But unfortunately, it's not worth what I paid for it at that time as an AC only machine and so if I were to sell it and then try to buy a, a AC DC or a DC machine um, wouldn't really end up paying for itself so this is my solution to getting what I want uh, with what I have which is kind of what I do with everything but um, all in all you know the the microwave transformer um, core was basically free just go on a junk day in your town when they're, everybody's throwing stuff out, you can find old microwaves, cut that out. These DINs connectors, um, I don't remember what I paid for them, but um, they weren't really that much. I want to say I've got less than 20 bucks into the, the all four of them. The amp meter, I was able to find for, uh, uh, it was like 15 bucks or something. So if you figure in that uh, bridge rectifier, um, the heat sink, which I got out of an old stereo um, and everything else that I've purchased for it I probably have maybe a hundred dollars into this conversion so basically you couldn't take this machine sell it and buy what you wanted but unfortunately I won't be keeping this machine because
I actually got myself a nice wire machine. A Miller 175, Miller Matic 175, uh, with a tank. I got it on an auction. Price just couldn't be passed up. Came with some wire, came with the tank. Um, tank was pretty much full. I made this cart out of old angle iron, cheap steel I had. And uh, so this is going to be my machine now because I'm a crappy welder. And at least with a wire machine, I can get stuff done. With that, I get some stuff done, but I can get a lot more done with this. Anyways, that's it on this. Thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for all the suggestions on the last video. We'll catch you next time.